Life is cruel and uncaring. Makes you wonder the point of it all. Find someone you love so much just to lose them. end of season three, we didn't know who was going to come back. John Dutton has been shot up. Beth has been blown up. A box within a box? Don't. Casey, he was in a gunfight. Season four opens with just equal amounts of chaos. Action! Where we pick up is right where we left off. The action of the scene is real time. My heart was pumping just reading it, so I think it's going to be pretty spectacular to see. It was a devastating attack against the family, so we got to figure out who's left to look into it, and that's my goal. They've amassed quite a list of enemies. Could be anyone involved in Broken Rock. We get to see the challenges of meeting a force that's greater than we have previously encountered. Could be big money players trying to bring the ski resorts. Somebody better get drunk through the sagebrush. Could be small-time criminals looking for retribution or it could be someone right in their own living room. Rip, I don't think you should call me anymore. Obviously, my spider tentacles are up for Jamie. There's so many unanswered questions. It feels like a lot of battle lines are being drawn. It really feels like the stakes are at its highest now. We've got a lot of reunions, not always good reunions. <laughs> now that Jamie knows he's not really a Dutton, that gives him more of a reason to want to explore who is this dad figure, but he knows the criminal aspect of him and the potential there. You know that anytime someone puts the Dutton family in harm's way, there's going to be some kind of revenge. Naturally, we want to figure out who did this. You can only imagine what kind of force might be unleashed against the bad guys. At the end of season three, we saw everyone in the bunkhouse branded. That means that we're all in. Having the responsibility of actually like fighting and being a part of these battles with the ranch. The retaliation that those who wronged the Duttons are facing is one of incomparable scale. Whew. The wrath will be coming upon someone. Everybody's going to get fucked up. These are one of those things, once in a lifetime, where you've got a leader, a creator, who is so in tune with what they're trying to express. And we've got that in this show, and Taylor. To be able to take people on a journey of so many separate individuals, it's just so amazing to see. He does a great job, Taylor, being able to do full kind of circle of not only the characters, but the moments that they're going through in the journey that they're on. The ranch comes first. You forgot that. Bring your best, and I'll bring mine. When we say the Wild West, what that really means is a lawless West. There's going to be a lot of consequences.